pondering on these words of the Gospel of Luke, napabalik ako sa isa rin niyang passage at the very beginning of the so-called narration of the infancy of Jesus. In fact, Jesus was just at that time 40 days old. 40 days old. At uh, as according to the custom of the Mosaic Law, kailangan nilang dalhin yung bata bilang lalaki, firstborn pa man din, to the temple to be offered to God. Yun po ang sinabi ni Moses kasi si Abraham offered his son Isaac to God. And in remembrance how God did not take away his son kasi dapat isa sacrifice niya, but rather um, made him see a ram whose horns were caught in a in a thorn bush and therefore sinabstitute niya yung human sacrifice into a animal sacrifice. And since then po, nawala ang, ang human sacrifice sa lugar na yon, sa kainaan ni Abraham. And since then also, after the law of Moses, well, that's several hundred years after, uh, sinabi ni Moses na uh, we will offer our children firstborn to God in remembrance. And as an offering, we can bring a lamb, <clears throat> we can even bring uh, a cow for sacrifice or for the poor, two turtle doves. Mary and Joseph went to the temple together with the, the infant, 40-day-old infant Jesus to offer him to God and place him in the hands of uh, the, the, the priests, whoever they, what there was assigned in the temple to pray that day. Aba, hinablot na isang matanda. Hinuha kay Maria ang bata at bigla na lang nagsasalita but together with the Holy Spirit. Filled with the Spirit, Simeon started not only to take the child, but rather as if God, the Father, because this is a prophet by the inspiration of the Spirit, as if God, the Father, told this man, this old man, now is the time. Now is the time. At alam sabi niya, now Lord, you can get me from this world because my own eyes have seen the Messiah of this world. As you have promised me, that I will see the Messiah. And then with that, <clears throat> he presented the child to the parents and to all those who can hear him. At sabi niya, ito, this will be the light to the Gentiles. This will be the glory of Israel. The world, the Gentiles and the Jews. Whoever is not Jewish is Gentile. Kamukha natin. And yet, he will be the light of the Gentiles. And for the Jews, the glory of their race. Sabi ni Jesus, no? Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. Many prophets, many kings desired to see what you see. Esha yun eh. Bakit? <clears throat> Ito ho, oh. gospel passage says, No one knows who the Son is except the Father. And no one knows who the Father is except the Son. Father and Son sila. Diyos Ama, Diyos Anak. Pero sinumera siya si Dinagdag. No one knows who the Son is except the Father and who the Father is except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Light to the Gentiles. Glory of Israel. And blessed are the eyes that, that see what you see and the ears that hear what you hear. <clears throat> what a, a beautiful expression 
na masabi ito ni Jesus at sabi niya, Praise to you, Father. Itong hidden, itong hindi kilala ng tao tungkol sa atin dalawa ay pinakilala mo. Hindi sa mga may katungkulan, sa mga may kaalaman sa skriptura, hindi sa mga makapangyarihan, mga namumuno. Ito'y pinakilala mo sa mga payak na tao. Sa mga napaka-ordinaryo. Bakit? Sabi niya, kasi ikaw mismo ginusto mo na ako, iyong anak, ay ipadala maging tao. At parang makihalo, makihalo-bilo, makihalo, at maging ordinaryo. Sapagkat gano'n naman pala talaga tayo. Tayo napaka-ordinaryo. Bakit? Hindi tayo nagmamalaki. Hindi naman kailangan tayo magmalaki, sabi niya. <clears throat> Malaki na tayo, ba't pa tayo magmamalaki? Yung mga nagmamalaki, yung maliit. <laughs> Gusto nila maging malaki. Instead, yung malaki, pwede magmaliit, magpakumbaba, maglingkod. Yung tunay na malaki, ang kanyang damdamin ay para maging maliit at makatulong, makahalubilo, makapagsilbi. Alam niyo, dapat, kasi napakaliit natin, sa panahon, sa pagkakataon siguro, na tayo maging malaki o mas mataas sa ibang tao, akala natin kung sino na tayo. At di na tayo marunong bumaba. Di na tayo marunong lumapat ang ating mga paa sa lupa. Minsan, sa tingin natin, mas marami tayong alam sa iba. O <clears throat> mas marami tayong nagagawa kaysa sa iba. O mas alam natin ang tama kaysa sa iba. Iyon po ang ating pagmamalaki. Eh kasi, ang tingin natin sa iba, maliliit. Pero kung talagang kawangis tayo ng Diyos, alam natin ang ating estado. Maliit lang tayo. Pero nagpakumbaba ang Diyos nakiisa sa atin. Kesa magmalaki tayo. Itong ginawa ni Jesus, oh, nagpasalamat. Father, I give you praise. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Gusto ko pong batiin dito yung mga teachers ng Bill St. John Academy kasi sa pagtuturo po, sana hindi po hintuturo ang ginagamit nyo sa mga bata. Sana yung tatlo na nakaturo sa inyo ay inyo ring alamin. Ito bang itinuturo nyo sa inyong hintuturo? ay mismo ding tatlo o lib- apat pang daliri nakaturo sa inyong buhay. Sabi nga di ba ni San Francisco de Assisi na piyasan niya bukas, no? na mas mabuti hata no? Mag- magsagawa tayo, magturo tayo, pero kung kailangan, sa mga pagkakataon lang, magsalita tayo. Pero kadalasan, sana ang pagtuturo natin, una sa lahat, ay ang ating pamumuhay. I think the great teachers I've met in my life are those who are great examples. Kung ako po'y naging pare, dahil sa isang teacher in arts, ako, sa loob ng classroom, grabe. Talagang gusto niyang matuto kami ng artistic forms, ng harmony of colors. Ako, lahat yon, Talaga exercise and uh, pupulaan niya. Pero, pero alam niyo, minsan, nabigla ako. Akala ko hindi maganda yung ginawa ko. 
Ano yung sinabi niya sa akin, Francis? Sabi mo nga sa parents mo, i-frame nila yung ginawa mo ngayon. Sir? Oo. Oh. Pa-frame mo, sabi mo sa parents mo. So, punta ako sa mami ko, sa daddy ko. Sabi, uh, sabi po ng teacher ko sa art, si Mr. Villegas, ipa-frame daw niyo ito at ilalagay ko sa kwarto namin ng kuya ko. Sabi ng mami ko, bakit? Eh, maganda daw eh. Alam nyo, natawa yung mami ko siguro. Pero, alam mo, pina-frame nila. And there's been a long time na andun, nakakabit sa dingding ng kwarto dami ng kuya ko. Kaya nung nagsiserve ako sa altar, altar boy ako pag grade 6 ako nun, nagsisimba siya. Mag-isa. No? Sunday Mass. Tapos, isang umaga, pagkatapos ko mag-serve, lumapit siya sa akin. Siyempre, tanggal na yung sutana. Yung sutana namin nun, pula eh. Tapos yung sa taas, puti. Yung makikita niyo sa mga picture-picture eh. Sabi niya, ano Francis, mas guwapo ka pag nakasutana ka. Sabi ko, ano ibig mo, sir? Lagi ko, dapat magpari ka eh. I think that was the moment may tawag ang Diyos sa amin. Teacher to anong arts. Nung maging pari ako, hinanap ko siya, sabi ko, sir, pwede ba ikaw mag-offer ng bread and wine during my first mass here in Makati? Doon pa siya nakatagpo eh, sa Don Bosco School namin sa Makati. Grade 6 po ako. Tapos sabi niya, Francis, thank you ah. Kasi kasasabi lang sa akin ng anak ko kung pwede siya mag-seminarista. Dalawa lang sila, siya pa yung panganay. Eh, sabi ko, sige. Naging pari rin po si Kako, Kako Villegas. My dear teachers, hindi po tayo teacher lang. Sad to say, many teachers said, teacher lang ako. Wish I were a nurse, wish I were a doctor, wish I were a lawyer. No. Teacher po. Ang laki po ng pwedeng gawin. Importante po yung inyong buhay para sa mga maliliit, sa mga kabataan, makita nyo ang gawa ng Diyos. At makatulong kayo lumabas ang gawa ng Diyos. Sa mga mag-asawa sa MER na retreat na to, marriage enrichment, alam niyo, saglit lang ang inyong mga anak na bata. Yung kahapon nila, hindi na babalik. Tuloy-tuloy po ang growth ng inyong mga anak. Napakahalaga. More than turo, kamukha na sinasabi ko sa mga teachers ng Bill St. John Academy. More than turo ng kamay, at e turo ng halimbawa na magulang. Lalo ngayon, no? Ang mga anak nyo, kasama nyo, 24-7. Ang laki kaya ng impact na to sa inyong mga anak. Makikita nila ang inyong relationship bilang mag-asawa. Maybe through this marriage enrichment program, baka lalong yumabong, lalong na mag-grow ang inyong relationship, yung love ninyo for each other, that you would be able to review and then recommit to each other the love that you started when you were in courtship and even in the honeymoon. Sana maging mag-asawa kayo, hindi yung sawa sa isa't isa. May, may this moment of uh, re, 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 parang reviewing and then 
looking again, and then realizing. Yung mga riyan, review, relook, realize, recognize. Sana maging recommit. Parang magkaroon ng direksyon ang inyong pagsasama. Kasi pag nakita rin ang mga kabataan yun, blessed are their eyes for what they see. And above all, what their ears are able to hear. I end with saying this, oh, sabi ng responsorial psalm, Lord, let your face shine on me. It is good, sabi ni Job, that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your decrees. I know now, Lord, that you are just, and in your faithfulness, you were there when you have afflicted me. I am your servant, my dear teachers and my dear husbands and wives. I am your servant, Lord. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. Because sabi nga ni Jesus, no one knows the Father except the Son and to those to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Kasi po, it's really a hidden mystery. Humility. The acceptance of the little. And to see in the little God's design. Our response to every petition is perfect us in love, Lord. Perfect us in love, Lord. This morning, we recall your resurrection and we long for the benefits of your redemption, we pray. Perfect us in love, Lord. Grant that we bear witness to you today, Lord, and offer an acceptable gift to the Father through me, we pray. Perfect us in love, Lord. Enable us to see your image in all men and women and to serve you in them, we pray. Perfect us in love, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the true vine and we are the branches. Allow us to remain in you to bear much fruit and to give glory to the Father, we pray. Perfect us in love, Lord. And we continue, O Lord, to offer our petitions for all the teachers of Bill St. John Academy, led by Sister Salve, 